hello friends welcome back to my channel this video is the continuity of the previous video on the age of puritan in this video i'll talk about john milton milton was the greatest poet of the puritan age and he stands head and shoulders above all his contemporaries though he completely identified himself with puritanism he possessed such a strong personality that he cannot be taken to represent anyone but himself. Wordsworth paid a beautiful tribute to John Milton and he wrote, Thy soul was like a star and dwelt apart. Though Milton praised Spencer, Shakespeare and Ben Jonson as poets, he was different from them all. Milton is superbly egoistic. Milton sings about himself and his own lofty soul, being a deeply religious man and also endowed with artistic merit of a high degree, he combined in himself the spirits of the Renaissance and the Reformation. He was a great scholar of classical as well as Hebrew literature. He was also a child of the Renaissance and a great humanist. As an artist, he may be called the last Elizabethan. Milton's early poetry is lyrical. The important poems of the early period are the Heim on the Nativity, L'Allegro, Il Penseroso, and Lycidas. The complimentary poems L'Allegro and Il Pinsrasso are full of very pleasing descriptions of rural scenes and recreations in spring and autumn. L'Allegro represents the poet in a gay and merry mood and it paints an idealized picture of a rustic life from dawn to dusk. While Il Pinsrasso is written in serious and meditative strain. In it, the poet praises the passive joys of the contemplative life. Lycidas is a pastoral elegy and it is the greatest of its type in English literature. It was written to mourn the death of Milton's best friend Edward King, but it also contains serious criticism of contemporary religion and politics. In the entire literary scene, John Milton is highly known for his masterpiece Paradise Lost. The subject matter of Paradise Lost consists of the casting out from heaven of the fallen angels, their planning of revenge in hell, Satan's flight, man's temptation and fall from grace and the promise of redemption. Against this vast background, Milton projects his own philosophy of the purposes of human existence and attempts to justify the ways of God to man. Paradise Lost is called the last great Elizabethan poem, but its perfectly organized design, its film outlines and Latinized diction make it essentially a product of the neoclassical or the Augustan period in English literature. In Paradise Lost, the most prominent is the figure of Satan who possesses the qualities of Milton himself and who represents the indomitable heroism of the Puritans against Charles I. It is written in blank verse of the Elizabethan dramatist, but it is hardened and strengthened to suit the requirements of an epic poem. Another important work of John Milton is Paradise Regained, which deals with the subject of temptation in the wilderness. Unlike Paradise Lost, it is in the form of discussion, not in action. The central character of Paradise Regained is Jesus Christ. Another important poem is Samson Agonists. In Samson Agonist, Milton deals with an ancient Hebrew legend of Samson, the mighty champion of Israel, now blind and sconed, working as a slave among Philistines. The magnificent lyrics in this tragedy which expresses the heroic faith of the long-suffering Puritans. It also represents the summit of technical excellence achieved by Milton. With this, I end my talk. See you in the next video.
टिल देट स्टे कनेक्टेड टू लुतुफ्स लिटरेरी क्लब